so now we'll talk about the aggregation binding um, basically how we can bind data so now our structure our application structure is good so it's time to add some more functionality so we start exploring more features of data bindings uh, by adding some invoice data in JSON format and we also add this model in the manifest.json and I will show how we can load this list in the view so that is the reason first we have to create a invoice file that is the source of the data so here um, what we have to do so let's first create an invoice.json for file so we will create inside that web app so it is invoice.json so here actually i am not uh, creating the json file i am just copying and uh, paste here from the sap uh, step 19 the official documents so basically that is the one invoice file and you can see there are total um, five product so this list will show here so let's see how it's gonna happen sorry okay so now we have that inverse file so now we have to load this inverse file into our application so how we'll do that so if we go to that um, manifest that is the model so all model related works we have to do in the uh, model so that is the model and there is already on 18 it is stop here so from here we will add another model so we make it like invoice and then we have to call these two things one is the type what is type that is the um, sap.ui.model.json.json json model then we have to invoice invoices dot json so now um what happened here like when we will use this data uh that is the like this is the invoice the json and there are total five products uh, invoice we have to load this data into our applications so that is the reason we use the manifest.json here the manifest.json so this model name is the invoice and that is the type the json model and that is the URI. so when we start the applications then the json model will load all data into the applications and after that we can view this data into any component component means that any view so that is the reason um, we have to create a view where we can uh, list where we can show the data so now I'm creating another view here this view name is invoice list dot view dot xml so let's start with that view that is the mbc view view int and we also have to put we have to call some library xml this library is sap that m and that is on and another is xml xml ns then that is the mbc 
so that is now we have to create a list because we will show the data in the list list so here we will add some tag like header text and this tax this text will come from the i18 i18 and you already know how how i18 n n and if you don't know you can check my the um video in that page list so this title in invoice list title and later we'll add some classes to um, align data but now the important thing is that um, we have to this is it we have to put the items items is always bind with the list and always it will start with that curly brackets then actually we have to use that invoice why invoice because this name i mentioned in the manifest.json so here that is the manifest.json then actually that is the invoice and if i go to this invoice.json file and here that is the invoices so if we have to put the entity like this way so here sorry just um invoice list we are here so now we have to use like this then invoices okay so this is this list is done but inside that list we have to put the items so how we can put the items we can just add another tags items and inside that items we have to put the object items an object item we have to put the title that is like invoice quantity the same way the invoice first the model name then the that is like if i go to the uh, if we go to the invoice here uh, we can uh, put the product name and quantity so here i can just put just just for the so invoice then this and we will use another um, just a into sign and again we have to use the curly brackets because this curly brackets means that it will come from the model so now we put here and we can use that quantity now we can remove this because we use just for the copy paste purpose so basic thing is done you probably understand that how data will view here but this is ready but this view we have to call from the here so here actually that is also another view it is it's called in the app view but we have to create another we have to call this view so if we go to that app app you can see that there is on view is called it is called that nested view 
like for example just for make you understand how it is work if we just call this two you can see this two if you call another you can see the t so basically that is the way the how you can call another view that is called the nested view you can see in the nested view tutorial section so now what we'll do we will just change the name so our view name is inverse list so we just put inverse list so now let's see what happened okay so still it is showing no data but we have to check why no data is there it should have data probably there is something wrong so if we go to that um is there anything okay so now if we go to the view we call that uh, invoice list this should be right so invoice list here is the view we have to check what is wrong here view and list the header text and items items is the v o i c e its o is missing I copy it everywhere so that is the reason the model name is wrong so now you can see actually it is it is coming but we have to use like something is wrong here so invoices and here V O I C E I'm sorry for that so refresh it is showing and okay so actually both are the quantity but we have to use like name product name so we have to go to the inverse dot inverse dot json and this is the product name so if we go here inverse list and here it should be product name so now you can see the inverse list title is still actually it is appearing here so and another thing is that it is coming from the item properties so we have to make inside that curly brackets and we have to put a name here so that is the reason if we go i18 and here we have to put like invoices so now it is showing the invoices but still you can um do something for this is is it's not good um, I mean the data is fine but we can add something uh, classes so that it will be it, it will be more good so if we go to the invoice list here actually that is the item panel and that is the header so we can hear the class I first I didn't use this because so that you can understand actually what is the different class SAP UI responsive margin so if you refresh you can see that is the this okay it's look good but we can if with that margin we use that we can use the o2 so 
so now auto and um, yeah so now actually it is it is the it is it is good compared to the uh, previous so uh, that is the basic things just for how you can use the how you can call the data uh, that's it so yeah um, in the next tutorial i will talk about the data type so let's continue thank you